At up to 3 metres, the spotted wobbegong is at the top of the food chain. Look carefully as they lie under ledges during the day. Very similar, but with a different colour pattern, is the banded wobby. During spring, docile Port Jackson sharks enter the bay in numbers to breed. Common stingeries cover themselves with sand. Cuttlefish are the masters of camouflage. This one is looking for prey. Look how quickly it changes colour and texture. The gloomy octopus squeezes into crevices, covering itself with old shells and rocks. The iconic blue groper is a fish emblem of New South Wales. Curious, they often swim right up to you. Interestingly, they are all born female with only the largest female changing colour and gender when the old blue male dies. The bright colours of the male crimson wrasse make him a standout. Maori wrasse aren't shy and are notorious photo bombers. This one's admiring its reflection in the camera lens and just can't get enough of itself. Snakeskin wrasse have a rather endearing swimming stroke. They seem to spend life on a 45 degree angle. The magnificently coloured rainbow kale will appear without warning, then vanish back into the seaweed. Herring kale also live in the kelp. The female is gold, while the male is black with blue neon stripes on the tail. Brim are one of the common silver fish. Their close relative, the tar wine, has a more rounded head and body. Young snapper stand out with their pinky tinge and blue iridescent spots on the side. The striped meadow is present in large numbers, as are grey sweep. Schools of hula fish are also common and keep close to the reef for safety. Yellowtail scad pluck food out of the current but need to stay alert as they are on the menu for a number of fish including kingfish. Hovering around the rocks are silver batfish. The strangely named old wives usually bunch together. Mullet, a permanent residence. Silver trevally can be recognised by the black spot at the base of the pectoral fin. Luderick nibble weed and algae off the rocks. This one is enjoying a clean from a small clingfish.
Large dusky flatheads lie motionless waiting to ambush prey. Sergeant Baker position themselves like missiles, ready to launch at small fish within range. Goatfish sift through the sand looking for tasty morsels. There are two main species in the bay. Sand whiting dig around in the shallows looking for worms and crustaceans. Usually a more tropical species, spangled emperor are here all year round. There are a number of different leather jacket species.